Uh, Lori uh, Engelay uh, was honored by the uh, National Museum for Women in the Arts, uh, covering 50 years of her, her 50 years of sculpting, and uh, she piled on another couple 20, a couple decades on after that uh, honor. Uh, but uh, her career dates all the way back to the famous uh, Black Mountain College in, in Carolina. Uh, back in the 40s, and uh, she was a student of Jose de Graff and later married Jose de Graff. And, uh, but her style is, uh, is while somewhat similar, uh, you wouldn't confuse the two sculptors at all. Uh, they're different uh, sculptors in terms of their style and, and technique. The, um, she's a direct carver of stone and wood, and she's in a lot of museum collections, and. Uh, has been honored uh, for decades, and we're very honored to represent her and, and have done uh, 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 three or four shows at this point. I think of at least three shows we've done of her work. And uh, my wife and I own two beautiful pieces that we have in our home, one in our living room, which is done out of granite. I couldn't, it's a torso of a woman, uh, and, and it has to weigh 120 pounds. And it just, saw, I, I mean, I can't imagine carving granite, but she, when I asked her, she said, well, you know, you're not carving away big hunks. You're just chipping a little bit, a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time. Huh. But I, but the, then the polishing, I mean, the actual polishing of these, of these beautiful, uh, it's just mm -hmm. amazing. And I, and it's, it's not something that you uh, set out to do a certain form. The stone usually dictates what it will become by the veining of the stone, and she works in many different uh, types of stone, of uh, alabaster, and uh, uh, even she does things uh, occasionally in so uh, so uh, soapstone, which is very soft, but she can also work in granite, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and uh, so, uh, so I think that we're uh, blessed to have her create works of art for generations to come. And a funny story that we have with Lori Glay is that um, when I was in her studio, there was this beautiful um, sculpture of, of a woman's body, and uh, a well-endowed woman's body. And, and uh, they, um, she had a patron all set to buy it, and uh, the man showed um, his wife a picture of the sculpture, and the wife said, no, I'm not competing with that. <laughs> so unfortunately the sculpture wasn't wasn't sold but she captures women so beautifully and um, and uh, it, it's a wonderful uh, sculptor and she really has made a mark on on history she was honored with a, a film a documentary film a couple years ago which debuted at, at the MoMA and um, and uh, very nice uh, it had a wonderful reception for it and um, very well received uh, a wonderful woman and a wonderful artist.